All praises to God. In the name of the Father, the name of the Son, and the name of the Holy Spirit, we come before you right now. We're asking you to remove Reverend Hendrick from behind this sacred desk. And you come forth, O oh Lord, and say a word to your people for this new year that we are about to embark upon. O oh Lord, that our souls may be touched, our lives may be changed, and only you can do that, O oh Lord. So we ask that you come right now in Jesus' name. Let the people say amen. 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 This evening, I'll be focusing on verse 33. Hear the word of God. But this is the covenant that I will make with the house of Israel. After those days, says the Lord, I will put my law within them, and I will write it on their hearts. And I will be their God, and they shall be my people. This is the word of the Lord. Most of us have seen or heard of the web website called Real Age. This website gives daily updates on health and wellness tips. To find your real age, there is a list of questions that will determine how old we are based on our lifestyle. Yeah. Uh, yeah. How much exercise we get. Uh -huh. yeah. How we eat. How our eating habits are. Uh -huh. If we smoke. If we drink. And how much we drink. Yeah. Well church. Just like we must get regular checkups. Mm -hmm. We must get a spiritual. And yes, there is a checklist that can help us determine our spiritual age right. and will bring every year around this time we make plans to lose weight, exercise, take better care of our bodies, and we must do the same for our spiritual life. This spiritual age checklist includes questions like, how often do we read the word of God? How often do we pray? How often do we study the word of God? How often do we look to the needs uh, of others? Whether they are in the prisons, hospitals, shelters, or in our community. How often do we say, an encouraging word to someone who needs uplifting. Yes. Do our lives reflect most of the fruit of the Spirit? As defined in Galatians, the chapter 5, verses 22, and Jeremiah chapter 31, verse 33, we hear that God is getting ready to do a new thing. By writing God's word on our hearts and minds and renewing his relationship with his people. Yeah. Our words through Jesus Christ, his son. Do we have plans to renew the, the renew and strengthen our relationship with God? Are we aging under God's grace? We hear words of promise from the prophet. Jeremiah, the words are addressed to the people in exile, far from home, and almost out of hope. The, co the covenant between God and Israel, the covenant made so long ago as Sabbath, seems to be broken. Yeah. For us, the new covenant is Jesus and is filled of hope and spiritual repair. Yeah. God promised to write his will on the hearts and minds of God's people. Right. Uh, before I take my seat this evening, I want to leave you with just this one point. The one point that you may need, need to get through the next year.
whenever we find, wherever we find our spiritual need, life, whether we are new believers or new converts in Christ, or have been on the battlefield for a long time, we may be on in the battle. We may be in need of a spiritual healing and restoration. Or we may be having a mountaintop experience and are enjoying an intimate and powerful relationship with the Lord God. Whatever, whatever we believe our spiritual age to be, now is the time to reflect on the goodness of God. And all that he has done for us, we got to get a spiritual check of the Lord.